Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Rookies, where we cover Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop role-playing games, dungeon crawlers, and all things fantasy. I am your dungeon minion. You heard right. I said minion, because I'm certainly no master. Today we have another product review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a series of products, actually, and these can all be classified as Dungeons and Dragons accessory. Although while you usually think of the term accessory as something additional, not necessarily necessary. These are kind of all necessary in order to play the game at an optimal level. So first we're going to start with this box set of dice. And this set here, I actually purchased this at a Walmart. You could purchase it online, uh, on Amazon or what have you, but you could probably find this at your typical Walmart or Targets. And it's basically a set of three different dice along with a little bag to keep them in. And these are all the different dice that you will need in order to play Dungeons and Dragons. So you've got your D4s, of course your D6, your D8, your <clears throat> D10, your D12, and your D20. All the dice you would need. And they come in three different colors. Nice, uh, colorful colors here. Blue, purple, and green. That way you can have multiple sets of dice and players don't necessarily have to share uh, the same dice or pass them around the table. As a matter of fact, if you're playing with bigger groups, you could buy two or three of these sets in order to accommodate for that. Now let's just see how these uh, dice here roll. Just give you guys a quick little roll here, my dice tray. All right, there we go. So yeah, nice little colorful dice. Uh, for a pretty good price, you get a set of three with their bags to keep them in. So we'll move on from that and we'll proceed to the next product underneath here. And these are D&D &D character sheets. So when you start a campaign or adventure, quite often you're going to want to create a new character or maybe recycle a previously created character. However, for this, for this you're going to need uh, these uh, character sheets here and you can purchase uh, a folder this folder here it's a nice looking folder too with all of these different character sheets at a pretty good price I was able to get this uh, on amazon.com and yeah so a, a good amount of these character sheets contained in this uh, in this folder here so you could always uh, choose to uh, photocopy them <laughs> once you start running out if you want to to have new ones but I think buying yourself at least one set of these official ones really cool it also has this nice little aid in the inside uh, panel of the folder here that kind of explains some of the different terms, attack, cast a spell, dash, uh, disengage, dodge, help, hide, ready. Uh, so it serves as a, a key uh, for terminology uh, to, uh, as, as a reminder of what the different words mean for when you are partaking in character creation. So I think this is cool. Looks nice. Nice artwork on the actual folder front and back. So at the very least, it accomplishes that. All right, so there's that. We've got the character sheets. And then the final product that we'll be reviewing is this Dungeon Master screen, reincarnated. And I still have this in the shrink wrap, so I'm going to peel back the shrink wrap for you all right now and show you guys what's inside here. I also got this from Amazon at a pretty good price. And if you're going to be a Dungeon Master, that's what you are trying to do or already are doing, you need to have uh, a good Dungeon Master screen. So let's open this one up right here. And first of all, let's take a look at the nice artwork here on the cover. On the front part here with the Dungeons and Dragons logo here. And pretty nice and big wide DM screen and then the inside as a typical good DM screen will do the inside is going to contain lots of references Because as the dungeon master you are running the game guiding the game and you basically have to be uh, As knowledgeable about the game as any other player around the table 
So to save you some time from perusing through all of the different rule books, lots of the pertinent, more common uh, information is printed here on the back. So here we have the actions in combat, a reminder of that. Here it explains long jump, high jump, suffocating, and concentration, things you can do on your turn. Here it goes into detail on the different uh, conditions, from blinded and charmed, to invisible and paralyzed, to prone and restrained. Okay. All right. So here we have more things like setting a DC, damage by level and severity. We have some object armor class, skills and associated abilities. Uh, what else do we have? Travel pace, services, obscured areas, encounter uh, distance over here. Uh, and, and it has a lot of nice and neat, unnecessary uh, artwork, but that adds to the flavor of the game and the quality of the product here. Um, here it talks about cover and light. And finally, food, drink, and lodging is covered here. A table for that on the far right over here. So we have some scales here for size. Uh, this is what gargantuan would look like as opposed to huge, as opposed to large, as opposed to medium, as opposed to small, and finally as opposed to tiny. All right. And that's it as far as the dungeon screen. Really good quality. Uh, as I mentioned, while these might, for lack of a better term, be lumped up as... as um, accessories these are all absolutely necessary materials now you do not necessarily need to purchase these licensed products from wizards of the coast you could always maybe make your own homemade uh character sheets along with uh dungeon screen you can scavenge um and cannibalize different games or boxes in your collection to try to get to all of these uh different types of dice but I would say that if you do not mind investing a little bit into your D&D &D experience, these are worthwhile investments that currently at market value are being sold for a pretty good price. And I'm happy uh, with these acquisitions. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at RPG Rookies. Please comment down below. Tell me what you think about these products. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.